are normally 48 myths busted in CS2. Habibi. The last one was insane. Hello, guys. It's your boy, Anubli from Sweden. And, and in today's video, I'm going guys, to Guys, he did this before, and it was actually, like, some things I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know either. Breaking 48 CS2 myths. Loads of them. Myth number one, Kevlar works on arms. Yes, as you can see in the footage, the damage is lower if you're hit in the arms <laughs> when you have I Kevlar. didn't even know that. Myth confirmed. Myth number two, Kevlar works on the legs. Well, as you can see oh, in this side of the footage, Footage, the damage is actually the same no matter if you have Kevlar or not. Which means Kevlar doesn't work on legs. Myth busted. Myth number three. It works on arms but not on legs? Three, the 10 second bomb music starts at 10 seconds. Well, as you can see in this footage, when I tried defusing the bomb almost a full second after the 10 second music has started, the defuse still goes through. So, no, from the time the music starts until the bomb actually explodes, it's almost 12 seconds. Is that a CS2 thing? <clears throat> Because in CS2, there were issues with as, as well. If you don't have a music kit, there's still a sound. Um, and it was completely broken, bro. I'm pretty sure in Go, it was accurate. Correct me if I'm wrong. Not 10. Myth busted, it's not 10 seconds. Next myth is this video sponsored by Skins Monkey. Mm. Hell yeah! Uh, They're one of the before, when the player agent talks, the bomb will always explode. In CSGO, I think it was always like if the player agent... 100% yes. Agent screamed Get back. or so the bomb would always explode. But as you can see, when I defuse the bomb, Furious hears the player agent oh, voice oh, oh. line, but the bomb is still diffused. What? Obviously, you need to time the diffuse very well because the agent only says the line at the very end of the timer. But yeah, that has myth to be a glitch. Busted. Myth number five, you can get global elite in CS2. <laughs> And this is going to be really, really aware because I know that there's some people watching who play matchmaking every single day trying to hit global. Well, Leetify revealed stats from over hundreds of thousands of players that the highest rank uh, um, achieved by anyone in matchmaking in CS2 was DMG. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Premier being the most played game mode has made the old competitive ranks fall out of the spotlight. And if you've gotten your competitive rank in CS2, you may have noticed it's a lot lower than you'd expect. This isn't just your imagination. If you check the stats, Bro. there aren't actually any global elites on any maps. The highest known rank right now in CS2 over six months after release is Legendary Eagle Master, which I think only one guy has achieved. Myth confirmed, you can't get global elite right now myth number chat this game over 20k in premiere you play basically against or with a cheetah every single game and then matchmaking which is the other option uh you play games and, and nothing is on the line you can't rank up you it's it's, it's, it's what it's six months after release like what Six, you can shoot a grenade mid-air to deflect it. No, as you see, I clearly shoot the grenade and nothing happens to it. This is the same for all grenade types. If they're thrown, you can't stop it with bullets. Myth busted, grenades are unstoppable forces when it comes to bullets. Myth number seven, shooting through guns works in CS2. We did a lot of testing and it seems to depend. The guns block some bullets and they let some through. I think this has to do with ping, so we tried to do it with guns staying still, not mid-air. When the guns were on the floor and we shot through them, as you can see, every single bullet went through if the penetration of the gun allowed it to. And you can also see the damage is much lower. I can't even one-shot Furious with a Deagle no. headshot through a gun. So yes, myth confirmed. That's cool as hell. We've seen some crazy clips where like a nade or like a gun uh, where somebody drops an arc to pick up another weapon. Like, saves him from dying because somebody shot an orb shot at exactly that same second, bro. That's, it happens in pro play. That's sometimes, really, really rarely. Super cool. Even though damage is significantly lowered and with some low penetration pistols, you can't shoot through it. Myth number eight, standing in a Molotov makes you less accurate. As you can see, my accuracy while standing in this Molotov is not affected at all. And this is actually a good strategy to sometimes tank the damage from the molly and peek inside of the molly because 
because not many people are gonna expect it. Myth busted, you're just as accurate in a molly. Myth number nine, some agent skins are bad. Well, yes, a clear example of that is the safe cracker Voltzman skin, which has this huge bag and helmet attached to her ass. As you can see in some of these examples, it's much easier to spot someone with this skin because of the huge bag that can stick so out outside no. of your cover. It also isn't part of the hitbox, so you can shoot right through it, which can cause some Bro. pretty funny scenarios. Myth confirmed, some agent skins can be bad. Myth number 10 is Peeker's advantage actually a thing in CS2. Me and Furious did some testing where I would peek him on long and we would both record and compare it frame by frame until he dies. And as you can see, I can see Furious full body for many frames before he can even start to see me. So yes, myth confirmed, Peeker's advantage is actually a big thing in CS2, Bruh. even though they say they've fixed it. Myth number 11. What? Art to see Furious f compare it frame by frame until he dies. And as you can see, I can see Furious full body for many frames before he can even start to see me. So Sheesh. yes, myth confirmed, Peeker's advantage is actually a big thing in CS2, even though they say they've fixed it. Myth number 11, using 4-3 makes you see less. I already compared this one in CSGO, and now in CS2, I've lined up these pistols in front of me, and you can clearly see the borders of my screen are the tech nine on the right side and a deagle on the left however when i switch to 4-3 my field of view is all of a sudden much more narrow uh -huh. not even close to seeing the tech nine jesus that is humongous bro or the deagle. Myth confirmed, 4-3 makes your field of view much less. Myth number 12, the CS2 sub-tick system is the same as 128 tick. No, every single high-skilled player that I talked to while making this video, like Ren and Furious, said that the CS2 sub-tick system is horrible. It's more like 64 tick trying to emulate 128 tick from what I understand. Either way, myth busted, sub-tick is not 128 tick. Myth number 13, the CS2 subtick system is better than 64 tick. Ah. Now, I asked the same players if subtick system is better than 64 tick, and most agreed that it is slightly better, but also most said they didn't play much on 64 tick servers either way. But it seems marginally better Bro, as it's tech. The thing is, it's supposed to be better than 128, no? That's the thing. That's why they don't want to do, first of all, they don't want to do 128 tick because it's apparently bad for the PC and it's hard to handle. But then again, we have now a crazy game which needs much more to handle anyways. Um, but also it would give different issues, they said. I remember Richard Lewis, who's kind of in contact with uh, Valve employees, and he said that they said, um, if I remember correctly, that um, it causes issues with the game um, on 128 tick. I don't know. <clears throat> It runs smoother on 64 or on subtick. And they believe that it can be even better than 128. <clears throat> Technically higher tick. Th Let them cook. <laughs> Bro, I swear God, I may be the number one Valve Glazer. Oh, then 64. <laughs> Myth confirmed, sub tick is marginal. Anti cheat coming any second now as well, by the way. <laughs> better than 64 tick. Myth number 14, bombs planted on different sites have different sounds. Yeah? I didn't believe this at first, but after some testing, I confirmed that a bomb planted on A site sounds like this. Bomb has been and a bomb planted on B site sounds like this. I never thought about that! Bro, huh? I, I, like, I knew there were two different sounds, but I never thought that it was an A-B thing. Bro, what? Is that on every map, or is it because of the acoustics, like, the surroundings? Then how do pros still sometimes think it's fucking B on you when it's, when it's A or other way around? As you can hear, there is a very clear difference. I, I guess this know. helps on maps like Nuke, where you can hear both bomb sites at the same time. Myth confirmed, Damn. the sound is very different. Number 15! The bomb timer is always the same. I tried planting the bomb eight times on two different maps and then timing every single bomb. Bro, I love and this. it's exactly 41 seconds from the frame it's planted to the frame it explodes. Myth confirmed. Myth number 16, inspect 
Collecting the MP5 makes a sound. I thought this was a very stupid myth, but when actually inspecting the MP5 in-game, at the end of the animation, he slaps the gun, which indeed makes a sound circle what? around you on your minimap. However, other players cannot hear this sound, even though it makes a circle, okay. which is very weird. The myth is busted. I it thought... doesn't make a sound. It only shows a sound circle for yourself. Myth number seven. Is the seven same with the dualies? Because when you inspect those, they go like, tick, tick, at the end, you know? <clears throat> 17 suppressed weapons make smaller holes through smokes. We tested this with all the suppressed weapons, with the silencer and without, and there isn't any noticeable difference. So whether or not you use a silencer, you can be happy because the myth is busted. Really? It doesn't matter if you have a silencer or not. Myth number 18, you can body block smoke lineups. Now we already know you can't shoot at grenades, but strangely enough, you can indeed block smokes with your body. This also means that you can block lineups from landing like this stairs smoke on a site. Myth confirmed, get pranked, noob. Myth number 19, there are more cheaters in CS2 than in CSGO. Hmm. Boah, this is a tough one. Oh. I think we can all agree <laughs> that we've been meeting a ton of more cheaters in CS2 than the last year of CSGO. With cheaters claiming previously detected cheats have been rendered undetected in CS2, mm. I think we can all agree, myth confirmed, there are way more cheaters in CS2 than in CSGO. Myth number 20, climbing ladders is always the same speed. No. Since climbing a ladder counts as a jump in CS2, the way I measure this is from the last frame it shows jump zero to the first frame it's lower than minus 150. Then I climbed the ladder in all ways I could think of, starting with looking straight and holding W. This took one- You press W and D and you angle sideways. Zzz, way faster. 0.783 seconds. Looking up, holding W. This took 1.633 seconds. Looking up, holding A and W. This took 0 0.883 seconds. Holy. And looking down, holding A and S. This took 0 0.967 seconds. And I also did the same thing while going down the ladder. Looking down and holding W. This took 1.767 seconds. Looking down, holding A and W. This took 0 0.93 Damn. seconds. And finally, looking up, holding S and D. This also took 0 0.933 seconds. So, all in all, if you're going up a ladder, you should be doing a sideways climb Huge by holding difference. A and W. And if you're going down a ladder, you should also be doing a downwards sideways climb by holding A and W. Myth confirmed, you're way faster climbing sideways. Myth number 21, each bullet fired ejects one bullet casing. In the first person, yes, of course, if you shoot once, it's only gonna show one bullet bullet casing. However, this is not the case in third person, which looks very goofy. As you can see, it turns any gun into a machine gun. What? Very silly, myth busted, at least for third person. I'm myth no number way. 22, anomaly can lose weight by exercising. I weighed myself, and then I went to the gym. I did squats, lifting weights, and used the treadmill. And as you can see, <laughs> I gained weight. What? So no, myth busted. However, I may have cheated a bit with the weigh-ins. <laughs> myth number 23, Smokes extinguish molotovs slower in CS2. Yes, we don't even need a timer for this. Yeah. You can clearly see in CSGO as soon as the smoke touches. Oh, dude, I have. Oh my god. Dude, that looks so nice. Bro. Need a timer for this. You can clearly see. In I forgot that that even was a thing. Yes, go as soon as the smoke touches the Molotov, it instantly wow. extinguishes it. However, in CS2, they've added this waiting period for almost a second, which means that the myth is confirmed. Smokes take way longer time to extinguish a Molotov in CS2. Myth number 24 CS2 removed one way smokes. Yes, I would say CS2 almost completely removed one way smokes, or at least made it much more easy to spot the person behind the smoke. You can still hide on the edges of the smokes, but it's not a complete one-way like in CSGO. Myth confirmed. You can still, though, I remember there was an Inferno one-way. You can place, imagine, imagine you're, oh, I'm open, you know, Pat. Imagine you're on a higher level. Here's a guy, and then here's a guy, and then you place a smoke. Like, let's say here's a building in front of him, and here's a latch, and you place the smoke right here, and then it's like, and then it's like this. And then it's like... Tss. But you have vision, and you can see his legs. And you can see his legs, bro. 
<clears throat> there are still one ways. Technically, technically, there was one sexy ass inferno smoke. Oh my god. I don't want you to think I'm just waffling, bro. Look at this. How's it going, everybody? So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. This one, this you one. Just line up along the flowers here, and you just sprint down so you get about halfway down this window pane and jump through. And so, what that's going to do is it's going to land right on the tip here of banana. And it creates an absolutely Boom. monstrous one-way smoke. I mean, you just can't, you just can't deal with that. That is by far the best one. So me and my buddy CJ, after that, we realized we were thinking that was the only place you could throw the smoke from, and we thought, you know, it'd be better. That's patched. How would they patch that? <clears throat> is it more water falling now? <clears throat> Chat, why is this like? It's not about just one situation, right? Is it go going now fully down? Oh, yeah, then it's fixed, fixed. Okay. <clears throat> Firm. Myth number 25, you can be heard in the game after letting go of the voice button. I always thought this was true because if you let go of the voice button, it still shows your voice in the bottom left for another second. However, as per our testing, where I say one, two, three, but didn't hold the voice button for the three, Fury couldn't hear it at all. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> one, two. One, two. Myth busted, as <laughs> soon as you let go of the voice button, you can't be heard. It just shows longer in the bottom left because of the nice smooth out animation. <laughs> Myth number 26, wall bangs do less damage for silenced weapons. We tried wall banging with both Ooh, the USB no and the M4 silencer and without, and as you can see, it does the same damage with or without a silencer. Myth okay. busted, they do the same damage. Myth number 27, CS2 is dying. CS2 definitely isn't dying, and you can see this reflected in the last few months' player stats. A lot of people are saying that CS2 is dying, but it's because it had a very rough start. Start. However, now that we're starting to get updates again, the players are coming back. So no, CS2 definitely isn't dying. Myth bust. <sighs> yeah, I mean, yeah. The question is how many people turn into cheaters every single day and how many of those are bots, you know, because there are a lot of bots farming drops and stuff or like accounts to sell. I, I, I. I think the cheater problem is the biggest problem that, that, that CS2 faces, bro. And, and and not just one anti cheat like it's it's how how are you gonna fix this bro I said this many many times but a cheater turns into sorry a normal person turns into a cheater after getting cheated on over and over again it's the number one reason that they always say hey I started cheating because they always fucking cheated on me I didn't want to switch to another game and then imagine how many people we turn into cheaters every single day because there's no fucking anti cheat bro there's no punishment it's I'm telling you day by day. The problem is getting so much worse. So much worse. <clears throat> Myth number User mindset, 100%. 100%. But that is the number one reason. Like, the, the people who are a little bit maybe weak-minded or don't care about the game that much, um, that is the number one reason. 100%, bro. 28 sprays can be used to time the bomb because of the previous myths we now know that the bomb timer is exactly 41 seconds and the time it takes to plant the bomb is about four seconds and the cooldown of a spray is 45 seconds so if you place a spray right before planting the bomb you can see that the cooldown of the spray acts as a very accurate in-game timer of how long is left on the bomb myth confirmed that sprays cool. can definitely be used to time the bomb. Myth number 29, you should always buy helmet as a CT. If you are 100% sure that the enemies only have AKs and Ops, it's not super important to buy helmet. However, if some enemies have AKs and some have MAC 10s, it's very important to buy a helmet because MAC 10 would one-shot you without a helmet, but it wouldn't if you have a helmet. Myth busted, but you should only skip the helmet if you're certain of the enemy's economy. Myth Bro, number 30. I did this for way too long. I always bought a helmet, Bro, always. I did this for way too long, bro. I, looking back on it, I'm uh, bro, such a noob. It's like they all had AKs, and I still always bought a helmet, bro. Even though I was low on money, 
Bro, getting kicked is worse than a loss. I started with 18,375 rating and I queued up with four of my friends. The rating I would lose if we lost the game was minus 119. And then I had my friends kick me. Guys, kick him, please. He noob. After the game was over, my rating updated. And indeed, I lost 119 rating despite being kicked. Myth busted. Getting kicked is not worse than a loss. Myth okay. number 31, surrendering is worse than a loss. I once again queued up with my four friends and my rating was 18,256 and if we lost, I would lose 116 rating. Furious then got banned so we could surrender. Very honorable. After surrendering and my rating updated, I had 18,140, which means yes, I lost 116 rating. Myth busted, surrendering is not worse than a loss. Myth number 32, being banned is worse than a loss. I started off with a rating of 18,140. If we lost the game, I would lose 200 rating. Then I murdered my whole team and got banned. And after Min the game was over- Minus 1,000, no? Over, you can see I lost 1,000 rating. Oh my god, I actually lost 1k. There's no way. <laughs> so yes, myth confirmed that though. being banned is much worse than a loss because you lose 1,000 rating every time. Myth number 33, losing streaks cause you to lose more rating. I swear this is true. As you saw from those last three games, at first I lost 119 rating, then 116 rating for some reason, and for the third game I would lose 200 rating. So yes, myth confirmed, losing streaks cause you to lose more rating. Seems a bit random though, yeah, could have also been just lower level enemies, right? But it, fe it, it would make sense, no? Because they try to recalibrate you, maybe they put you first in the wrong thing and then, you know... It would, be, it would just be logical. Myth number 34, personal stats matter in Premiere. No, personal stats like kills, MVPs don't seem to matter at all in Premiere. The only thing that seems to matter is the win or lose streak that you're on and that hardly counts as a personal stat. Myth- Chat, did MVPs matter in CSGO when trying to rank up? To because I always try to make sure to get the, <laughs> to get the bomb defuse. <laughs> like, that's actually why I said always, like, let me defuse it the most. Like, even though it was half a joke, like, it was half serious, half a joke. We don't know. No. I, f I felt, I felt like it mattered. I don't know. Busted. Myth number 35, European Premiere is the hardest zone. Yeah. Just judging by the ratings on the leaderboard, we can see that Europe is by far the highest average. Just to get on the top 1000 leaderboard in each of the zones, you need, in order from high to low, Europe over 25,100 rating. North America over 21,900 rating. South America over 21,500. I mean, right now, Premiere is just cooked anyways, but I quote Rob at the beginning when the cheetah problem wasn't that big um eu is the only one that matters world ranking nobody cares eu suck <clears throat> face robs rating asia over 21500 rating china over 20600 rating australia over 18800 rating and africa over 15200 rating which means that i'd be in the top 1000 <laughs> in africa even after losing all these games for this video only judging from these statistics then yes myth confirmed european premiere is the hardest zone myth number 36 crouch jumping makes you jump higher as you can see my jump high when jumping with only spacebar is about 54 to 55 units. However, when I crouch jump, the wow. height goes all the way up to 66 units, which is way higher. Myth confirmed. What is it measuring though? Is it your feet? I mean, yeah, you can jump out boxes that you couldn't uh, if you don't. I thought you just like squeeze in your legs, uh, uh, your, your legs, and then once you're on the, like, you know, once you're on the box, you release it. No? Are you actually jumping higher as well? Does your head go higher? No, right? <clears throat> No, okay, so it's like feet to ground or something. Yeah, yeah. The crouch jumping is better. Myth number 37, you can jump off vertigo three times before being banned. Well, because my rank is already Ooh, dead, I like me this and one. my four friends queued up a game of vertigo to try it out. We ended up jumping off the map five times before getting <laughs> banned, so myth busted, you can jump off vertigo four times without being banned, and if you jump five times, you get banned. Oof. Myth number 38, if you queue as four people, you can kick the fish. 
fifth. No, you cannot. We tried queuing as four people in both premiere and competitive, and it didn't work in either of the modes. I think if you a good change. Four people and your fifth teammate is very annoying or toxic. Well, you'll just have to live with it because you can't. Yeah, but if you got four people and you solo queue, bro. And maybe you have a bad game. Ooh, nah, 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 chat, chat. Bro, I, we, bro, you can't tell me you never got kicked when, when there was four people, like, uh, together queuing and then they fucking kicked you for, for, as a joke. They're all in a team speak, they're just joking. Bro, I, this, this, I'm a solo queue veteran. This, I, I feel like this is nice. I'm not kick him. Myth busted. Myth number 39, skins. The classic kick last round, bro. Wins. I have a lot of skins and I absolutely <laughs> suck at the game. Meanwhile, pro player Elige has no gun skins, only some vanilla knives, which technically they don't have a skin on them, and he's considered one of the best NA players ever. So no, myth busted. I you wish. suck, it's not because I you wish don't that one was true. Have skins, it's just because you suck. Myth number 40, rejoining a match gives you a better spawn. This used to be true in CSGO and earlier in CS2, but now it seems they've fixed it. I tried rejoining on multiple different maps and I always got the same spawn point. Myth busted. Really? Myth number 41, some knives attack faster than others. I tried out every single different knife and there's absolutely no difference in speeds between different knives. It always takes 0.5 five seconds for a left click slice and it always takes just over a second for a right click stab myth busted it doesn't matter what knife you have myth number 42 op no scopes are more accurate when crouching i spent 26 minutes shooting at this wall while standing and while crouching and these are the results you can see that the spread circle on the crouched side is slightly no smaller way. so yes myth confirmed you i didn't know that are more accurate if you crouch while no scoping it makes sense. Op. Myth number 43, the scout is more accurate than the op. Once again, I shot at the wall for a very long time, and as you can see, it's not even a comparison. The scout is much more accurate than the op with no scope. Myth oh, confirmed, man. scout is more accurate. That's a crazy difference, though. Accurate. Myth number 44, strafing right while shooting a smoke makes you see more. This isn't something I've done in game, but you can clearly see strafing right makes you see much more through Ooh, the smoke. Myth I had confirmed. Myth number 45, Valve deleted CSGO. No, you can still play CSGO, kind of. All you have to do is right click your Counter Strike 2, click properties, then click betas and select the beta called CSGO Legacy. It will now give you the option to play either CSGO. CS2 or the legacy version of CSGO. There are, however, a lot of things that don't work, like your oh. inventory, official servers, etc. But you can still play workshop maps, play with bots, the training course, or join some community servers that are still up. Myth busted. CSGO is still available, kind of. Myth no Dude, I miss danger zone so fucking much. Number 46, CS2 runs worse than CSGO. While standing completely still in Italy, I got between 600 and 700 frames on CSGO and only around 380 FPS in CS2. While running around, FPS was kind of similar, however, it seemed a little lower on CS2. But from personal experience, I can say CS2 crashes a bit more than CSGO used to and I also get what? random lag spikes in CS2, sometimes lasting over a second. Oh, Hell no, dude, I crashed. I swear I crashed on the daily and go. Bro, you change your resolution, you crash. You fucking, it's, it's, it's sometimes the most random things. You you open a map. For me, always Vineyard Danger Zone, I crash. I crash so many times and go. CS2, I never crash. Or very, very rarely, like once, pff, once a week, I feel like. CS2 runs Go, it was like three times a day. It's a bit worse than CSGO, at least it takes more of your PC. Myth number 47, highest settings in CSGO gives you more FPS than lowest settings in CS2. Ooh. In CSGO, on the highest graphic settings, 1080p, I had between 500 and 600 FPS. However... No chance. In CS2, on the lowest settings, it was really difficult to even <laughs> see the frame rate because what? it was so low quality. But I think that says around 400. <laughs> yeah, what are those settings? 500 <laughs> FPS, so it's okay, similar. Never mind. However, I never saw the <laughs> FPS counter in CS2 go over 700, which it did many times in CSGO. So I guess myth confirmed. <laughs> and the final myth, number 48. Yeah, did so chat, if you got like a bad PC and you still want to get many frames, just fucking. 
copy those settings, bro, easy. So <laughs> I guess myth confirmed. I'm the final myth number 48. Did CSGO have more content than CS2? If you compare CSGO to CS2, we're still missing a lot of content. For example, some of the maps we're missing are Cash, Tuscan, Agency, Train, Boyard, Chalice, Cobblestone, Short Dust, Lake, Canals, Militia, Assault, and game modes such as Danger Zone, Demolition, Aww. Flying Scoutsman, Retakes, and the maps deleted from these game modes, which are Black Sight, Ember, Sirocco, Vineyard, Safe oh. Home, St. Mark's, Lunacy, Monastery, Dust One, Dizzy, Bank, Sugarcane, and of course console commands like CL Bob or CL Right Hand. So yes, CSGO- Don't care about those, but man, oh, Danger Zone, dang, where's my Danger Zone? Danger Zone enjoys. I'm telling you the potential with Danger Zone, bro. Every time I got a friend to play Danger Zone for the first time, they got hooked on it. They kept saying, let's play one more. We play until we win. One more, one more. And then all of a sudden it's 2 a.m. and you're like, uh, you have to wake up early. I'm telling you, bro. Danger Zone is so good. It was just, it, it was just never got, got to all the people. Mm -mm. They never, oh man. If they do, I'm telling you what they would have to do with CS2. Proximity mic. Call of Duty all of a sudden did it, right? And then CS we already have. We all have a mic connected. We all use team chat and ranked all the time. It's the most natural thing in CS. Imagine somebody bump mines on you, bro. Starts shouting. Oh my god, bro. I'm telling you, proximity chat could do a lot for this game mode. A lot. Had a lot more content than CS2, and it's not even really a myth. However, I hope CS2 will keep adding stuff that we're missing to make it a very good game. Uh -huh. And there we go, 48 myths busted or confirmed. I hope you like this video. If there are some myths that I forgot, then please comment it, and maybe I'll make another video like this. Woo! W, bro. Ha actual W, chat, I swear. Ah! That was nice. That was like fast, fast, bang, myth after myth. Busted after busted. W, bro. I enjoyed that. Leave a normally some love. Drop a sub if you haven't. I mean, hey, who isn't sub to a normally? Bang.